appreciate it. I think I speak on behalf of the majority of NBA fans when I say that I owe Bucks fans an apology because I have been counting you guys off literally since the start of the playoffs. I have been picking you guys apart, just looking at all your guys' flaws and not looking at the things that make this team really good. And for that, I just have to say I'm sorry because I was fucking wrong. We all were. And that was really bold of Bucks fans to be chanting. Yeah, that was extremely bold of Bucks fans to be chanting Bucks in six after taking literally their first lead of the entire series in game three. But maybe the entire city of Milwaukee, they're all clairvoyants or something. But, you know, they were right and I was wrong. So I just want to get that out of the way. So, Justin, I have a question for you. Yes. Do you think that this was more of a historic collapse or an epic comeback? I think it was definitely a historic collapse. Anytime you're up 2-0, like you take the first two home games and then you lose your next four, I think you can't call that anything but a collapse. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to discredit like the Bucks and like coming back, Giannis dropping like 40 points in three different games. That's absurd, averaging 13 rebounds. Chris Middleton having some games and, you know, Drew Holiday absolutely shitting shitting shooting the ball but absolutely playing great defense like you got to give it to them but at the same time this well you, you know the thing is the thing is with drew holiday you know i've been i've been talking shit about him the entire playoffs <laughs> anyone that watches our videos knows that i have not been ni- i have not been nice to drew no. but he is not only does he have the best plus he, not only did he have the best plus minus of this series he has the best plus minus of any player in the entire nba playoffs yeah, he shat the bed. He fucked the dog met numerous times during this finals, but he but he gets the job done. He's an amazing defender. He creates issues for Devin Booker and Chris Paul. You know, like the guy for what he's worth, he, he you know, he, a, he helped them win. He's a, a great player. It's just watching him shoot makes me want to put my face to a belt sander. But that's that's beside the point. Um like the Suns <laughs> The Suns have honestly had so much talent, like Mikhail, like Jay Crowder, but like, like you said, like, like the second DeAndre, Cameron, yeah, the, well, the Cam, I know you're a big Cam guy, um, but the second DeAndre Ayton got into foul trouble. Well, but well, the, the both both Camerons, oh, both, both Camerons. Cams, both Cams, because you got Cam campaign, yeah. Um, but yeah, dude, you got what the second um, DeAndre Ayton got into foul trouble. It's like okay, put in the big dog, and it's like you look over and it's Frank the Tank Kaminsky, and you're like, all right, this is. That we're fucked because not only is he not good on defense, like he's not a double digit scorer right now. Like he's Frank Kaminsky, dude. Like I love him. I love him. Like, but at the same time, like when you have, you know, Brooke Lopez and Giannis running down the freaking <laughs> right down the to straight to the hoop every time, like Frank Kaminsky's not stopping that guy. And keeping Jay Crowder on the court, like Jay Crowder guarded Giannis a lot and did not do well. Same as McHale, no one did well. And, like, I was talking to Kip, actually, one of my uh, cousin's friends who plays college basketball. He's like, dude, the guy's a f- cheat code. It's like, if you can... I mean, did did anyone do well at carding Giannis, though? <laughs> dude, exactly. But, like, that's kind of what it came down to, is Giannis just took over. But at the same time, anytime you're up 2-0 in a final situation, when you know you got to close out, like, even they were saying, game's not over. It's not over. Clearly, you thought it was, because you guys played like shit. And, like, to be honest, like, Chris Paul did play well in the last game, but he really screwed them the last, like, three games. Like, there were three turnovers at the end of each of the last three games that were just hand me like, handouts. Like, straight up them dribbling down the court and then just losing the ball. Like, Devin Booker had a poke, in game five, had it poked out by Drew Holiday at the end. Like, it, it, it's been sloppy. Honestly, I... I think that, you know what's interesting? I think that the Suns and Four guy has really changed the culture for the Suns. Oh, they were so cocky. Ever since, yeah, ever since so the cocky. Suns and Four guy, and then they proceeded to win in Ugh. four against the Nuggets with their number two injured, but no one likes to talk yeah, about that. Yeah. Um, but they, they're so, and they got cocky. They're like, we're the best now. We went from being the underdog, the team that everyone was rooting for. Everyone wants to see Chris Paul finally win a championship at 36. And, then they just get arrogant. They go up 2-0. And, you know, I, I think that deep down they thought that Giannis wasn't going to be doing Giannis no. things in the playoffs. Well, did you watch P.J. Tucker last night? P.J. Tucker played... Uh, uh, like, just, just like at, on the played, game. He yeah, played 37 minutes and had zero points. Yeah, I just, but, I just wanted to, ta- I just wanted to defense, talk about that though. a little bit. <laughs> yeah, he was amazing on D, but that's, that's a lot of minutes. Well, <laughs> well d- this is also how amazing Giannis is. Giannis had 50 points in a, a finals deciding Dude. game. 
The next closest score was 17. Yeah, Chris Middleton. with and who, He played 41 minutes, one less minute than Giannis, and had not even half the freaking points. And Giannis, dude, he had 14 boards. He averaged 13 boards per game. In this, like, at the end, of, through those six games, he averaged like 33 and a half points. He shot 64% yesterday. He was the first player to ever average 30, 10, and 5 while shooting 60%. In the finals, yeah, I know. Uh, I, I'm really curious where this whole like Giannis is a bad shooter thing is coming in. He, he's not and a great so, one, but it doesn't matter. Like it doesn't. He's not. It's not Ben Simmons. You know what I mean? Like it's not like he's just freaking awful. But like, it, it, no, it not comes. At all. And on top of it, like I feel like the whole like free throw thing is extremely overrated. Don't get me wrong. He was 17 for 19. Yeah. last night, which is amazing. But like the reason that Giannis misses so many free throws is because they foul him so yeah. fucking much. Yeah. The only re- it's like like he took sixty six free throws in this finals. The next closest player was Devin Booker with twenty seven. Twenty seven, dude. Not even he, half. last night he not he made half, more free dude. throws than the Suns attempted. Is that yeah, true? Yeah, it's a fact. I, that is an insane. That's an that, insane. That is a wild statistic yeah, right there. That's ridiculous. Well, they they know that they can't. The, the Suns know that they couldn't stop him. No. The only no. chance that they had at stopping him was fouling Yeah, him. and then he... And because they did that, <laughs> and then it gets DeAndre Ayton in, in foul and yeah, trouble. Yeah, well, dude, he was in foul trouble like five minutes in the third quarter. He has four fouls. You're like, okay, we obviously can't play him because we need him in the closeout minutes. But if you don't... Yeah, but and... and if, you, if you're losing by that much, it doesn't matter in closeout minutes because you're already fucking down. Yeah, and on top of it, even with DeAndre Ayton not in foul trouble, it, like, I don't think he would have been no. able to handle Giannis. No, I don't think... Giannis was just... He he was having his way. He he was uh, he was unequivocally the best player in this oh, whole series. Dude. He was the best player in this uh, in this uh, playoff series at this point. Honestly, other than maybe KD, who was just playing like an absolute freak, like Giannis. Like, dude, think about this. Like every year, we think about this. Like when they come to the playoffs, we're like they're a very good regular season team. People say that regular season team. I say that. I say that a lot. They beat the fucking Nets. Like we're talking about like oh they beat the Suns. Dude, they beat the fucking Nets. Everyone's like Nets are going to yeah, win the championship. I mean, I mean they 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 beat kind of the Nets, you know. Yeah, I, I'll, give I'll give them that. Or, yeah, yeah, I'll give them that. But like, you know, like, but but both teams had very compromised journeys yes. to the to to. I to agree the with that, but at the end, there was no compromising. There was no injuries. Like, you if you're counting Dario Sarge, eat my dick. Like, like that's not someone you can Fuck count. Off. Yeah, that's not someone you get to count. Fuck, like, off. Fuck you. Like, Fuck yeah, off. Like, like, there's no way. Yeah. Dude. Oh yeah, there's game changer. Um. But like, it, it, I'll say this: that he did. You know, when they, when he went down, they didn't have a big man. It was Frank Kaminsky. You don't want Frank Kaminsky playing the finals. But at the same time, like, no. you you, you got to give it up to Monty Williams. Like, he was an amazing coach. Like, the Suns went from being one of the worst teams of the last twenty years to being in the NBA Finals in one year. That that in itself deserves a it's lot. Of credit so much right credit. There. And like, even he was like, he went into the Bucks locker room. He's like, I don't want to take away from anything, but I want to congratulate you guys. You guys played a hell of a fucking series. Absolutely, and, and honestly, props to Monty. For Monty's that. A, that great was a class freaking, act. Yeah, dude, it's that that was a class act. And like, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, this is you know, this might be kind of petty, but like, I was a little disappointed to see Chris Paul walk off the court yeah. without congratulating on, the Bucks because I'm I'm like I'm like, dude, I get that you're not happy right now, but like, have some class, dude. <laughs> like, like this is just gonna make people like talk even more shit dude, you on know you. Know that Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, and Devin Booker are playing for Team USA. How funny is that? They're gonna have to get on a plane. I, I did not. They're know gonna that, have to no. get on a plane together. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> that would suck so bad. Like, like soon too. Yeah, like, like probably this week. Like, <laughs> like they, they're gonna be doing that soon. Yeah, they're gonna be practicing each other and be like, oh yeah, <laughs> like I, let me show you what I I can do. Like, <laughs> that's just not. Brutal. Dude, the the Bucks did this the right way. You know, they they got Giannis eight years ago. That's a long time. Yeah, I don't think people realize how long Giannis has been. That there are so many times that they could have traded away Giannis and you know try to go get some superstars, but they're like, no, this is our guy. Not only is he a superstar, but he just you know Giannis. You know that Giannis only follows seven people on Twitter, no. and those people are his family members and Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> and, Seriously, why yeah, Elon? Point is, is like I don't know. Yeah. It's Giannis. He, he's he's eccentric, but dude, Giannis is like an he's like an eight year old boy. Yeah, he's a child. There. You know what yeah. I mean? Like he gets so worked up sometimes, and like the coach will have to tell him like, "Hey, dude, calm down a little bit." Yeah, you know. And I, you know, they just did it the right way. I think that the Bucks, this team, resonates very much with a lot of NBA fans that don't like, and the especially Bucks, the Midwest too. There's, 
Absolutely. Like, dude, this is Absolutely. In Milwaukee. Yeah, they're not doing like the flashy, no, you know, no they're not trying to be team. like the, the Lakers no. or like the Nets or or like or Miami exactly. or something. Exactly. That's super team. Yeah, they're they're doing it the honorable way and they're set up that they could do this, you know, at definitely, you know, maybe maybe next year, year after that. Yeah, I agree. You know, they have a they dude, they, they have a solid Giannis window is 26, right now. 26, bro. He's 26. Dude, he's, 26 he's 26 and he has Dude, he, he, you know, Giannis probably has, I'd say, the closest to a Kobe-like work ethic of anyone in the NBA. Dude, the guy put on, like, 50 pounds of muscle in, like, two years. That's insane. Yeah, dude. The, the guy's, I mean, I know he is the Greek freak, but he's a freak. Yeah, he, he's, he's legitimately a freak, a freak of nature. Like, it's insane, like, how athletic that guy is. That guy's just literally built to dominate the sport of basketball. It's freakish. Mm. All right. Well, uh, this this was an awesome season, and I'm happy that you know, with you know, with all the bullshit that COVID gave us, that we were able to still have an NBA Finals with fans. You know, just that in itself was awesome, and I personally am very grateful for that. All right. Well, uh, give us a follow on our socials, and uh, be sure to smack that subscribe button, just like Giannis did to the Suns. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for watching. We're out.